Good afternoon, fellow students, parents, and faculty members. I'm Joy or Yilan Chen. As you can see, I'm a senior. <laughs> I'm honored to be to, to speaking to you all today, and I'd like to share one thing that is really meaningful to me, art. Throughout my high school career in LJ Academy, I have developed a deep passion for art like sketching, painting, and crocheting. Art has always been a source of joy and comfort for me, and it has allowed me to express myself in ways that words cannot. Let me tell you a story about my encounter with abstract painting my junior year. Junior year was the most stressful year for me and I felt really like pressure was everywhere. As a result, I had a lot of negative energy building up inside me that I couldn't release. I'm not good at expressing my emotions and I don't want to talk to others about my stress. Uh, therefore, like at one point in my art class, I felt really broken and I tried to force myself to calm down. I couldn't continue with my art assignments, but at the same time, I got a burst of inspiration. I took out a new canvas and some old paints that correspond to my feelings at that time. Then I spread those paints onto the canvas with a palette knife without any purpose, just to follow my mood. When I felt that I had reached the right moment, I stopped spreading the paint and I created my first after painting. I actually bring this art piece here and I named it Mental Crash. <laughs> when I finished this piece, I felt in instantly released and I started to do more abstract painting since then as a way to calm myself. Although abstract painting is difficult for others to understand, being a carrier of my emotions is what it means to me. Art has also given me the opportunity to realize my dream. I was on the moon when I heard that my artwork was likely to be selected for the 2023 Student Art Show which held by the St. Charles Art Council. I was watched, when I watched my painting from being framed to being hung in the gallery, I received a sense of accomplishment and belonging because I was fully involved in this event. And at that moment, I feel that I was truly an artist. Art has taught me to be patient, persistent, and confident, to embrace imperfection and to see beauty in this world. But as much as I love art, I know that it would not have been possible for me to get to where I am today without the support of my family, my teachers, and my friends. To my parents, although they are not here today, thank you for always encouraging me to pursue my passion and for believing in me. Thank you for the countless time and money you have spent in order to support me studying abroad. And thank you for always being there for me. I love you. To my host family, the Hoshinas, I appreciate every delicious meal my handsome host dad Steve and my considerate host mom Gladys prepare for me. Thank you for every drive from home to school and thank you for making my off-campus off life so enjoyable. To my teachers, thank you for being the guiding lights in my life. Thank you for seeing the potential in me and for pushing me to be my best self. Thank you for the time and patience that you have spent helping me with every questions for feedback and constructive advice that has, has helped me grow and improve. To my friends and classmates, thank you for being a part of my school life and I'm grateful for the moments we have shared over the past four years. I will miss you guys and I wish you all can be happy in the future. Last but not least, I want to give a special thank you to two teachers who are really important to me in my high school life. Miss Cruz. <laughs> Thank you for always being concerned with me and organizing many wonderful events for the international students. I will miss you and I hope you can visit China again. Uh, Miss Messer, you are the one who told me over and over that I'm the one and only Julie. I'm so glad and appreciate having you as my advisor for these four years. Thank you for always listening to me and encourage me at any time. And appreciate that you enjoy my art pieces. I won't forget the time we spent together doing the crazy arts during the spring break, and I will also miss you. Last, I want to say thank you to everyone who has played a part in the EA community. Thank you for the memories, the lessons, and the support. I want to use my favorite quote from Crime and Punishment by Dostoevsky to end my speech. Don't be overwise. Fling yourself straight into life without deliberation. Don't be afraid, the flood will bear you to the bank and set you safe on your feet again.